What's going on folks? My name is Josh and I am the Outdoor Dude. Thanks for coming to my channel. When you're new to fishing, picking lure colors can seem a little bit overwhelming. So I'm here to give you a few tips to make your life a little bit easier. So stick around. Look at that big mama jamma, folks. Now guys, I'm crazy about fishing and everybody around me knows it. So I get all types of questions about fishing. One of the questions I get all the time is about lure color. How do you pick the right lure? Now that could be a very general question and talked about for hours on end, but in an effort to not overcomplicate things, I'm going to give you guys a few quick tips to make your life a little bit easier when trying to pattern fish. Now there's two things you've got to worry about when trying to pick the right lure color. Number one is forage in your particular body of water. What are the fish eating? And number two is what clarity of water are you working with? First thing first is figuring out what the forage is on your particular body of water. Are the bass feeding on bluegill? Are they feeding on perch? Are they feeding on shad? Are they feeding on craws? You, you get the point. For me at my lake, we have gizzard shad, so I'll be throwing a lot of white, a lot of shad mimicking baits. I'll throw a lot of square bills like this Cotton Cordell Big O, or the KVD Signature Square Bill, or I throw white spinner baits, I throw white swim jigs, or I throw white chatter baits, all with the same paddle tail trailer or I throw small swim baits or larger swim baits that mimic the bait fish. As cheap as these are, guys, don't knock them. They actually catch good fish, especially smallmouth here in upstate New York. And I'll also throw jerk baits that mimic shad bait fish or silver spoons, silverish spoons with the blue, like a blue back herring, or, or this also helps works on gizzard shad patterns. Now when spring hits and the bass start to move up into the shallows and they get to start relating to that piece of structure that they're going to like and coming into summer, we start to throw different things. We start to throw something that will mimic a pattern of a bluegill, a craw, perch, whatever it has, in, whatever you have in your lake, most likely bluegill and craws. But up here we also have yellow perch and white perch and crappie and we can mimic all of those bait fish as well. So that's when I start throwing more natural looking colors that fit in with that character, those characteristics, like crop colored square bills, or realistic soft plastics that look like craws. If, if you can hold it up to the sun and see through it, it's good for clear water. These translucent type baits. So that's when you throw your green pumpkins, your watermelon reds, your, your reds like these tubes, or your green pumpkins like these craws or your reds like your lipless crankbaits, even though that's more of an early spring tactic. Or you start throwing this giant jointed perch bait. There's this giant joint Rapala perch bait that I have works great, mimics a perch really well, looks good underwater. Or I go to more realistic looking swim baits, like the perch or bluegill patterns. Or you throw green pumpkin chatter baits, get, get that bluegill presentation, switch into your, your jigs, Next thing you got to worry about is water clarity. If you have clear water like I often do here on Oneida Lake, you might not even start out with white like I said in the beginning of the video. You might just start out with more translucent type baits like your ghosts, like this tube, or this baby brush hog, this, or just a, this grub, or the slug. They're all translucent ghost style baits that will look way better in clear that look way better in clear water and more realistic but as that water starts to get a little bit dirtier i will switch to the whites so i go from clear water and then as it gets dirtier switch to a little bit of the whites then as the water starts to get to the stained to muddy that really really dark right before chocolate milk right before you almost don't even want to fish it i'll start to switch to the more purpler colors the the chartreuse and whites, the black and blues, your sexy shads. I'll switch to more colorful, more colorful baits. Here's an extra tip for you. If it's one thing that I've learned fishing over the years, that, that there's an exception to most rules. The exception to what I'm saying here is that there's one color that I find that works great no matter what the water color from clear all the way to muddy, and it's white, especially the white spinnerbait. So if you find yourself in a situation where you can, you need one bait to do it all, you're out there, you're broke, you don't have a lot of money to buy fishing baits, you want to get out there and have a good time and just fish um, and catch fish, pick yourself up a white spinner bait with the silver fleck in the top half of the skirt and the combination Colorado and Willow Blade and you're not going to be disappointed, you're going to catch fish. And if you're fishing with spoons, try to run more realistic colors that will mimic the bait fish. And if the water is 
more on the clear side, run silver. And if the water is more on the muddy side, run gold, if you're gonna fish silver or gold blades. So in short, if the water is clear, go lighter. And if the water is muddy and darker colored, go with darker colored baits that will stand out better in that darker colored water. All right, guys, I'm gonna start a new thing at the end of my videos. I'm gonna ask a question of the day. And today's question of the day is, what is your favorite bait that you like to throw in clear water? It'd be cool to see what your favorite baits are. And you might be able to give useful information and tips in the comments down below to other beginner anglers that may need help. And this is where I'm gonna end the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, guys, hit that subscribe button. And be sure to click the notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos. And as always, guys, I'll see you next time.